is the morning after the show. We did an amazing Madaraka album tour. Uh, it was really the first time I was performing in Nairobi, Kenya on, on a proper stage. The first time I performed in Nairobi was at Geiko Cafe. Um, and it was wonderful too. But last night at Allianz Francais, you know, I performed for an hour and I had an opportunity to work with some of the most incredible artists in Kenya right now. Java, Okelo Java, and it's been awesome. To me, fanya shows Billy so far. To me, fanya Kisumu. That we fanya Nairobi. That we have been in Nairobi and beyond. So I'm saying. A pesi nyamamkali. Uh, Yaba, Shari, Africa, uh, Shanaria Evans, Larry Duane, and we had the opportunity to also, you know, uh, host some of the most incredible talents in comedy. For example, Chipukizi came through and supported Erupt in Kikamba, you know, and it was just exciting to see him sing in his mother tongue because I sing in Luo too. African music is just beautiful, you know. Then Juakali also came and supported. He's a legend. Juakali is someone who has really helped shape the Kenyan music culture, you know. Beyond genres is a name that has really shaped the current culture. I also saw Fenagi too, uh, and that was really incredible. I saw some of the leaders from africa centric entertainment like Juliet, they've always supported and I just want to give them a shout out as well. We're partnering with them for the Madaraka Festival. How do you feel sir? How do you feel? I just thank God. I thank you and my community, my family and everybody who has made this moment possible for me. Thank you to everyone that purchased merchandise, you know. We want more of the Madaraka merchandise, especially the t-shirts, to be out there and we want you to be wearing them. So make sure you, you reach out through DM on Instagram um, and we'll be able to deliver it to you anywhere in Kenya or in the world. Yeah, it was just wonderful also being able to perform live. It was, it's been a dream of mine to be able to perform uh, and and I feel that I I was able to you know to accomplish that dream to perform with my band at a, a well respected venue in Nairobi Kenya is a big big milestone and I really feel lucky and now we just will continue putting in the work you know so last night show it was not easy but it was so much fun, you know? I never knew that I could do it, but I did it, so you can also do it. You know? <laughs> Please. Salim, Miss Anaria. 
I love Omeno. I grew up eating Omeno. And I feel that it's time to celebrate Omeno more. song called Omena, I just remembered Zion Train because I was a reggae DJ for a long time. We used to have Zion Train is coming our way. When that song was playing, people would make a circle and they would, you know, run around the venue and just have a good time. Then I remember this song is called Omena and today we could have Omena Train. So I told the audience, okay guys, <laughs> let's do an Omena Train. And I, I, saw, I knew someone in the audience Steve, who is my, my brother and we also work together, I knew that he could start that Omena train when I saw him in the audience. I was like, hey man, start the Omena train. And, and the name just came up. <laughs> Madaraka Vibes album is just a reflection on the last 10 years and an opportunity for me to reflect on that musically and uh, connect with a lot of people who have attended Madaraka Festival over the last decade and, you know, launch myself as an artist, you know, and uh, I just wanted to to honor all of them, but also honor the audiences, the people who have supported Madaraka Festival, and I hope we go out there and run this album like crazy, you know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>